Welcome back. This is like a make your own schedule here. They're like, would you feel like going on? We're like, sure. Um, it's good, it's a nice relaxed vibe. You guys are, are very lovely. We um, are gonna make the second set a little freaky because that's how it's supposed to go. And nobody left either. So y'all must be enjoying it.
Kapoor on the drums. Yasushi Nakamura on the bass. Thank you very much. We'd like to feature Mr. Nakamura on the bass on a selection of his choosing.
Thank you very much. That was Where is Love from the musical Oliver. Y'all still with us? Yeah? You, you enjoying it? Okay. Just, just, just making sure you're still here. <laughs> We're having a great time. And we told you we'd loosen up a little bit this set for you. So, um, yeah, we're going to feature the drummer now, Mr. Kyle Poole, on a Cedar Walton composition. This is called Groundwork.
it up for Kyle Poole. Thank you all so much. This music is very powerful. As we know, it has great magical powers in the world to heal. Um, this has been an incredibly difficult 18, 19 months now. And uh, we started in our living room um, to play music uh, at the beginning of the pandemic. And uh, we never knew it would have such a wide reach. Um, but, you know, we just played music because it's what we knew how to do best, you know? It's how we knew how to, to, to express ourselves, to cope with the, the, the situation, um, to feed something positive into the world. And, um, you know, we're grateful for everyone who watched. Uh, and we were able to support a, a lot of the New York jazz scene, and create a whole economy um, in Harlem and really do like a Harlem rent party. Um, you know, in, we're in the roaring 20s here in the 2000s, right? 100 years ago, Fats Waller, James P. Johnson, Willie Lyon Smith, Lonius Monk, Art Tatum, people were like that were playing right where we live in Harlem, um, inviting everyone in there in, into the house, passing the hat around, you know, hoping, hoping to make the money for the rent for that uh, month. And the police officers would be there. It was right after a pandemic, too. There's a lot of similarities. And uh, I think that, you know, there's some majesty to, to the way that, that things unfolded. Um, and the music was needed um, around the world, and we never uh, could imagine that people here or otherwise would be would be listening and watching and keeping up with the little small window into the New York jazz scene. Um, and so it became a really powerful thing, and I think it healed a lot of people. And, and so we continue to do that now in person uh, with real human beings and vibrations. And uh, it, it, it's, it's about this, it's about the human connection. Uh, we, have, we have a mentor, his name is Tootie Heath, and he's 86 years old, he's the brother of Jimmy Heath and Percy Heath, who play with everybody, and he's 86, and, he, and I said, Mr. Heath, what, what's, what's, like, what's, what's it about this music that keeps you going until 86 years old, practicing, searching, thinking? He's like, man, it's not the music, it's the people. And I was like, mm, that was a light bulb moment for me. I was like, okay, it's the people. You know, it's about the people. It's about us on stage together. It's about you guys. It's about, you know, how can we just make the world a tiny bit of a better place through a few notes and rhythms and, and show how people can come together. And I think this music has done that for a very long amount of time, 100 years almost. And, uh, you know, we continue to, to take that and... and you know, approach it with a good heart and good intentions and try to make the world a slightly better place. So thank you for helping us doing that tonight. And if I gave that kind of speech in Italy, no one would understand me, so. <laughs> you guys are great. <laughs> But I can't speak any Hungarian yet. <laughs> Maybe after the show, we'll, we'll learn a little bit. Um, yeah, we, we have to see some of the city afterwards, so, so something. Um, yeah, so thank you for being here. Uh, if you want to stay in touch, Instagram, Facebook, mailing list through my website. There's a lot of ways to do so. We have some CDs for sale. Um, I'll, maybe I'll sign some afterwards. It'll be lovely to meet you. And... Uh, yeah, we hope to see you very soon in New York or here again or somewhere else. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> Maybe on the, uh, on, on the internet. Um, we, we still play on Mondays, and in fact, we may take the video from this and air it um, when we're away next week, something like that. So we'll see. Um, but that's the power of the music. We hope to, to come back and visit many times. You guys have a great spirit and a great heart, and this is a, obviously a great place for creative improvisational music, jazz, black American music, um, all of the above, and we thank you. So uh, we're going to play one more for you. This is by Willie the Lion Smith. This is called The Finger Buster. This is a look into the 1920s. Um, 
Harlem, Kyle Poole, Yasushi Nakamura, thank you. Thank you.